All right. Uh, if you think that Michael Bloomberg's big box has the Giuliani camp scared, you might want to think again. A top Gi uh, Giuliani lieutenant telling the New York Daily News, for example, quote, his $500 million doesn't scare me at all, should it? Let's ask Margaret Hoover. Margaret worked for the Giuliani campaign and is the great-granddaughter of Herbert Hoover. Also with us is Michelle Bernard, president of the Independent Women's Forum. To you first, not worried, Margaret? No, not at all. Look, the American presidency is not for sale, and the American people have far too much esteem for the presidency to let a billionaire waltz in and buy the office. Look, Mike Bloomberg played very well in a city where money actually talks, but what plays on Wall Street doesn't necessarily play on Main Street, USA. The American people are smarter than that, and I think we need to give them credit. To be fair, though, Mark, he's been a pretty good mayor, right? Well, you know, he's been a pretty good mayor. I suppose he's not taken on the most controversial issues as some of his predecessors have, but, you know, all in all, he's a rich guy who wants to be president. I'm not sure he's traveled the country and really heard the pulse of the American people or the heartbeat of America. They want to see somebody who cares about the issues, who's strong on terrorism, who, you know, really identifies with them. And I think a billionaire who, you know, doesn't take a salary in New York, but, you know, really not clear what his ultimate qualification right, well, is. We, we can quibble whether he's taken on some controversial issues. But, I, I, Michelle, let me get your take on just that, that if the American people read him as nothing more than a billionaire wants to buy his way to the presidency, he doesn't go anywhere. What do you think of that? Yeah, well, I, I don't think that's correct. I mean, he's a billionaire, but we also have to realize that, you know, Romney uh, and Giuliani are wealthy men also. Money is not the end all and be all, but, you know, it has the potential to really change things, uh, in the, at least on the Republican side of the equation. And here's what the really interesting thing is. The American public really needs to pay attention to the quote unquote non-candidate candidates. There is only so much air in the room. And right now, Fred Thompson is sucking some of that oxygen out, and so is um, Michael Bloomberg, and who knows if what's going to happen if uh, Newt Gingrich throws his hat into the race as well this fall. All right, but you know, I always like this third p party fixation we get to every four years was sort of like the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the girl you want to go out with, right? Uh, no offense to either of you. You know, they, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you think about, well, you know, I went out with you. Uh, actually, you're a nutcase. I don't want to do it. So you go back to what you know. So I'm wondering whether this dance we have with the third party idea actually is just that, and we go back to the main parties. Well, well you know, I think. I think Ross, I rather, I think uh, Mike Bloomberg is doing something that's very smart, which is riding the tide of the, the ra rising tide of independence in the United States. It's the largest political group that's growing are people who are identified as independents. They don't really identify with either party. So you Basically, think there is something to this independent phenomenon? Because when I people do, are I asked about this, they, they do say the Republican Party has let me down, the Democratic Party has let me down. Maybe Bloomberg well, senses, Michelle, that this is that moment. Well, absolutely, because what has happened is what we have seen time and time again is that the American public is really tired of partisan politics. And, you know, people have said before that we're a nation of red states and blue states. I don't believe that. I really think we are a nation of purple states, and people want their elected officials to work for them and do what they elect them to do okay. once and they Michelle get to the White House right. and once they get to Congress. Michelle is absolutely right. But what we need to look at is Bloomberg's political career, because I don't think he's a centrist in the fiscal conservative, socially liberal way that most people who are identifying themselves as independents are. All when right. you look at his policies in New York, he's really had quite liberal policies. He's a big government guy who believes government should get in the lives of independent people. And he's also pro-gay marriage, which is socially left of Hillary right, Clinton. I can see the campaign now. You're already waging it. <laughs> uh, ladies, thank you both very much. The White House, meanwhile, issuing a